In the long history of diver training, there has never been an organization quite like the National Academy of Scuba Educators. But what is it that makes NASE different from all other diver training agencies? Let's find out. Just exactly who is the National Academy of Scuba Educators? Well, to start, we're a member of the CDA Training Group, an organization that includes Commercial Diving Academy and other companies. We have instructors and affiliates worldwide, and our courses exceed all applicable ANSI minimums. We offer our members professional liability insurance and have a strict program of enforced quality assurance. Of all the various diver training organizations, only NASE operates its own commercial diver training center and has its own on-site pool and deep water training site. Probably most important, our core executive group actively dives and teaches. Now, you'd think that would be true of every diver training organization. Unfortunately, it isn't. Case in point, here is NASE Executive Director Scott Evans on a recent video shoot in Barbados, demonstrating the kind of buoyancy control and body position we feel all divers should have. And here is NASE Training Director and resident geriatric Harry Averill trying to fumble his way back to where he left his walker by the water's edge. Now you have to ask yourself, can the key decision makers at your training agency dive like this? If you don't know, maybe you should find out. One of the core concepts in the NASE Diver Training Program is that of competency. Now what does it mean? It means that our students can do skills on demand, repeatedly, without significant error, and without undue stress. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, doesn't every diver training organization require this? Well, here's the kicker. We insist that students be able to do these things while maintaining neutral buoyancy. Why is that? Well, think about it. If a student can only clear a mask while standing, sitting, or kneeling on the bottom, that's not going to be very helpful when that student's mask floods on a wall dive when there is no bottom. One of the most important things we do is our Learn Green Dive Blue initiative. Now, what that is, is our commitment to make it possible to certify divers without cutting down any trees. And to do this, we offer e-learning for all NASE courses. We also provide digital e-books for all courses in lieu of traditional paper textbooks. We provide our instructors with the opportunity to do paper-free virtual record keeping and provide digital as well as plastic seat cards. Another thing that sets NASE apart is our flexible approach to diver training. Simply stated, when you have different instructors, different students, different locations, and other different needs, well, a cookie cutter approach to diver training just might not cut it. Which is why we provide our instructors with the flexibility to custom tailor courses to meet the needs of individual students and other situations. Now, when we talk about our new advanced open water course, you're going to see an example of this kind of flexibility in action. Simply stated, the advanced course can vary greatly from one set of students to the next, from one time of year to the next, and from one dive site to the next. But the result is the same. Students will emerge with some core competencies in navigation and deeper water diving. Here is yet another way in which NASE differs from others. Our standards require a minimum number of minutes of actual bottom time and not an arbitrary number of open water training dives, although we do sometimes require a minimum number of entries and exits. Now, the actual bottom time requirements are substantial. For example, where some organizations allow a diver to become certified with little as an hour of actual bottom time, we require 100 minutes for open water diver certification and 150 minutes for advanced open water. We have similar requirements for all NASE courses. 
one of the things we take particular pride in is the fact that our courses, our training standards, and our methodologies are based on what goes on in the real world. To us, the fact that it's always been done a particular way just doesn't cut it. Instead, we like to base our courses and our materials on how today's best divers actually dive and on what best reflects modern equipment and procedures. For example, snorkels while on scuba. Are you kidding? Do we really need to say any more? Here are some more examples of our real world approach to diver training based on things we will not ask you to do. We won't ask you to follow a script word for word or do our marketing for us. We won't micromanage how you teach. You won't be getting monthly notices from us outlining yet another standards change based on yet another lawsuit. We won't ask you to set a bad example. Students will not see you bounce up and down like a yo-yo at unsafe ascent rates while conducting emergency ascent training that's better left for confined water. At NASE, every dive ends with a slow ascent and a safety stop for students and instructors alike. In other words, do as we say by doing exactly what we do. Finally, we won't ask you to violate your insurance warranties by conducting exercises that might force you to leave students unattended at the surface or underwater. Yes, it's nice to always have at least two qualified teaching assistants, but in the real world, that just doesn't happen. Kaizen, it means the process of continuous improvement, a philosophy we subscribe to wholeheartedly. The fact that we publish digitally frees us to make changes as needed and to implement those changes immediately. We don't have to wait until those 5,000 books we printed last month finally move off the shelf. Now, this is one reason we encourage our instructors to check our pro website frequently to make sure you have the latest standards and training materials. The great thing is, we're just getting started. With the financial resources of a multi-million dollar company behind us, you can count on seeing more courses, more materials, and more innovation to come. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and on our website to see the NASE difference become more distinct in the months ahead.